Whoa, this thing lights up. This is the first layer from the Ender 3 V3. Oh, shit. Why am I always breaking 3D printers? Hello, and welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. Today is a special day. This is a special video. Why is it special? Well, it's my birthday. So, what did I do? I bought... Boom. Creality and the 3 V3 for my birthday gift. And you, you can subscribe to the channel. It will be an amazing birthday present. Leave a like on the video. And let me know in the comments down below. Do you own any Ender 3s from Creality? With that said, let's scratch today's printer. Ender 3 V3 from Creality. But as usual, with my review of 3D printers, first, I will unbox the 3D printer, set it up, do some printing, and give the review after I have printed and test this. 3D printers with its capability. There will be timestamps in this video, so if you want to jump to each part, you can do that. But enough with talking, let's get unboxing and let's talk about the Ender 3 V3. This is so exciting! Let's unveil the 3D printer. Oh my gosh. You get a manual, accessories, filament spool holder. The part that connects to the filament holder. Some pin accessories. Creality's 4.3 inch touch screen. A little bit of filament. PFTE tube. Looks like it has been used. And now the gantry. Oh my gosh. This thing looks beautiful, man. As you can see right there, there's some lubrication. Look at this. This is the filament spool holder. It's printed. They printed this piece. How amazing is that? Wow. It's spring loaded, but it's printed. It's 3D printed. Ooh, that is nice. Love when companies 3D print with their 3D printers. Lots of packaging, which is always nice. And the base. Wow, look at this. And that is it. Let's get this set up. Man, this thing is small. Before I assemble the printer, we will look at what we get for accessories. They give you a nozzle cleaner, screwdriver, Allen wrench, and a nozzle remover. A bunch of screws. They also give you a plier, metal grease. It's brand new. Let's go. USB drive and five zip ties. Okay, first we gotta select the voltage first. 115 and 230, which is on the side right here. So I'm gonna check that and then put it to the correct voltage and then we will get assembling. First thing I'm gonna do is put the gantry onto the base. This is Creality Ender 3 V3. It's a Core XC 3D printer. It's rated at 600 millimeters per second for printing speed. It has a stable metal build with die cast parts. It has a build volume of 220 by 220 by 250 millimeter. It has two fans for instant model cooling. Two fans. One in the front, one in the back on the print head. It has a new top notch extruder kit. It has a thousand hour plus without any clog. It's data from Creality Lab. Reliable extrusion with quick swap nozzle. It can heat from 0 to 300C in just 75 seconds. The tri-metal unicorn nozzle. It has durable steel tips. Copper nozzle is integrated into the titanium alloy heat brake. It blocks heat creeps and can be swapped super easily. Supported filaments are PLA, TPU, PTG, PLA carbon fiber, PETG carbon fiber, and Creality's carbon fiber. And that's the specs of the Ender 3 V3 from Creality. Okay, well that's that. The screw took about 5 minutes because I keep switching sides. Like they said, it might take just 10 minutes if you know exactly what you're doing. Right now, we just need to plug in all the wires back here, and we are good to go. Oh, plus the screen. On this side, it has two wires. One is for the sensor up here, and two is for the motor down here, so you just connect it. And on this side, it only has one wire. This side is a Z motor. This bigger one hookups right here to the nozzle head. It has a holder right here. So right here, it has a holder. I'm going to put this on. And right here, it has a holder right here, which is the filament Renault sensor. That is very nice. It's this clip right here you just plug it in like this clips for holding your tube and this wire together look at this this white clip right here is the new version that you just put this in and it just clip by itself you don't need the blue clip and plug it in in the middle right there the nozzle feeder right here is the newer type which is like the k1 in k1 max you just put it in here and it will automatically lock if the head is not moving I cannot do it with one hand. Let's take off this phone right here. Oh, that is satisfying. And now, 
for the screen. Wow, look at that. This is the same screen as the Cable Max. It looks like they took out the film. Did this not come with a film like the K1 and K1 Max? Because every single screen will definitely come with a film. I'll just use what I have. This wire right here, you clip it here, and then you put these on the bigger hole, you slide it down. I feel like this is the most trickiest part. There's not in the boom. Just like that, it's installed. We got everything installed, the moment of truth. <gasps> yeah, it's working. <gasps> Whoa, this thing lights up. Oh my god, that is crazy. Wow, that is amazing. I love this feature. Wow, now they just need to make this light up. Dang, I did not even know that this is a see through and light up. Yeah, <laughs> oh, that's so cool, man. English, I have to bring everything. Okay, got everything set up. Just need to do the self check and stuff like that. Then we will get to printing. Okay, that's done. It put shaping. Now it's doing auto leveling. Let's go. I just connected the N3 V3 while it's doing the auto leveling. I connected to Creality Print and I can see now that it's heating up the nozzle to 140C and now it's homing. Look at that. It's homing, let's go. It actually has sensor now. The other one that I reviewed, the artillery one, if you can see that, I'll leave a link down below. It doesn't have the sensor on the X or the Y. But this one has, and I was like, why did that one not have? But apparently that was homeless sensor, and this is a sensor home, which is, I think it has its own benefit, but anyway. And look at this, it's doing the same thing as it does with the K1 Max. Look at that, it's um, wiping the nozzle at the back of the build plate. I wish they have something that protects the build plate from getting scratched like that. But I guess if this works, it works. Apparently, I felt like the motor on the Ender 3 v 3 here is a lot quieter than the one on the K1 Max because when it does the auto level like this, you can definitely hear that the nozzle head is moving up and down. Like, zzz, 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 like that. But this one, you don't even hear anything. All you hear is just the motherboard fan, which I think it can be turned off after this printer is rooted and stuff like that. Hopefully it has that. Self check complete, let's go. It says that it's completed. I wonder what happened if you like click this before it reaches. Oh gosh. <laughs> I think I just killed it. What happened? Oh my god. Why did it just do that? Why am I always breaking 3D printers? I think it couldn't reach it. Oh my gosh. Hopefully that didn't break anything. Okay, let's try homing again. Oh, there we go. It was this wire. Uh, I hooked it up and it was a little bit short, so that's what happened. It scared the crap out of me, man. Now everything's working fine. Okay, before we print anything, I'm gonna show you all the interface that the Ender 3 V3 have. On the home page, it shows this. That's the filament sensor. It means that there's no filament, Wi-Fi connection, your nozzle temperature, your bed temperature. The screen is very responsive. And thanks to Creality for keeping it sideways like this, horizontal instead of vertical. Vertical screen makes everything so small. You can click that, control the fan, auxiliary cooling. You can add by 5%. Oh, there's no sliding, huh? I actually enjoy the slider much better on the K1 Max but because that one you can control so fast but I think this is fine and module cooling which is this fan right here you can extrude movement temperatures your temperature your nozzle this is the speed how fast you want to print when you're printing and this is turning off the motor so if I click this you can hear that noise, right? Everything is shut off. You cannot move your 3D printers anymore. You need to home them before you can move. Local creative file setting. Pretty similar to the K1 Max. Expert mode. Nice. They have that there. Android. Error history. I don't have camera. I don't have, don't have AI function. Stuff like that. 
Okay. Yeah, that is basically the interface of the N3 V3. Now, let's actually print a Benchy. Oh, and actually one more thing. I wish that would include like 0.25 kilogram in a spool. Spool instead of just giving you stuff like this. I'll use their hyper peel lay. Truly extremely well. The Benchy it is right there. Oh my gosh, that is fast. Okay, it's done printing. It took 13 minutes to print this Benji. We cannot go through a 3D printer without doing the first layer test. So this is the first layer test, 220 by 220 by 2 millimeters. And this is Creality Print. I'm going to be using the quality one, the 0.2 millimeter. Okay, it's going to do its first layer right now. Oh, it doesn't even touch it. Okay. There's like, what, 3 to 4 millimeters gap. Oh my gosh, look at that first layer. Ooh, looks pretty. Okay, and now printing carbon fiber with the Ender 3 V3. It's about 3 hours since I have been messing around or playing with the Creality Ender 3 V3. And based on this expression, right, it has been amazing. The best 3 hour ever. It's um, it's almost 4 in the morning right now. Look at that. It's almost 4 in the morning. Oh my gosh. I've been at this 3D printer for 3 hours now. And it has been amazing. So this is the first 3 hours. First impression. Review of the Ender 3 V3 from Creality. The experience has been amazing. As you see here, this is the first layer from the Ender 3 V3. And it's flawless. <laughs> I, I don't see any flaw here. It, there's like literally tiny here, but that it doesn't really matter. There's no perfect, perfect 3D printers out there ever. This is perfect enough. All the wrinkle is me. I tried taking off as soon as the printer got done printing, so. <laughs> but oh my gosh, I never got a 3D printer this good before. Or it's basically my third 3D printer, so whatever. It printed so nicely. The second thing I print is a tolerant test. When I review 3D printers, it has to go through these tests. A first layer test always and a tolerant test always. This is a um, tolerant test from Orca Slicer. If you've been watching the channel, you know I love this tolerant test because it just tells how good your printer is. Okay, so let's go. Um, if you don't know, it goes from 0.4 all the way to 0. It's so shiny, you can't even see it, but it's yeah, it's right there. Okay, so the 0.4, of course, the 0.4 is going to go through all the time, right? Kaboom. Oh, the point three, point three goes through. Just okay. There we go. Just there's stringy. I'm gonna get rid of the stringy. You just do that. That point two millimeters. Oh, oh, it went through so fast. <laughs> okay, point one millimeters. Point one millimeters. Um, oh, point one millimeters. It's struggling. Look at that. Oh, you're struggling. Okay, okay, okay. It still goes through though, but it's struggling a little bit. Okay, I got it out. I think it might be the first layer. Like I said earlier, it might be way too close to the bed. Like a couple of millimeters off the bed, the offset manually. It will be good. Let's do a 0 0.05 tolerance test. Ooh, it's stuck. I think the reason why it's stuck. Yeah. If you can see that, this corner right here is like bumpy. There's like a curve in the middle, and then bumps out. Yeah, it fits really well. It's just that teeny tiny part that is screwing everything up for the printer. This is carbon fiber, a sand block. And guess how fast this prints? Max speed. I just use the slicer that comes with Creality Prints. Just click, 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 and then just print. It's basically at 300 millimeters per second. And the filament right there, I think it's rated up to only 100 millimeters. And would you look at that? Oh my gosh, overhang right there. But it prints really well. You can see that a little bit of retraction right there. Just do some tuning and we'll fix that. Ender 3 V3 out of the box is amazing. Has been one of the best printer I have seen so far. Creality did a really good job on that. If I slow it down a bit, it would turn even more beautiful. But this is pretty at max speed, um, all the retraction and stuff like that, it's just flawless. Wow. I cannot complain. 
can't complain, man. All the sides, all the layer line, the overhang just dominates, dude. This printer just dominates overhang and stuff like that. Oh my gosh. Oh, and we cannot forget the Benchy, of course. Dude. We cannot forget the Benchy. Dude, it printed so nicely. If you look at there, the layer right there, man, just flawless. This was tuned from Creality. Oh my gosh, everything just printed so nicely. Maybe the first layer might be a little bit too close to the bed and it's squishing the filament closer together just with some Z offsets that will definitely fix it. But oh my god, just prints so beautiful. There's no ghosting at all, it's just perfect lines. Well, you see there, that's all the pros about this and the 3B3. First layer is amazing, tolerance is good. I just need to adjust the Z seam. Printed carbon fiber easily. 300 millimeters per second a benchy in 13 minute bro 13 minute and such a good quality at 13 minute oh my gosh all the pros on that thing is just mwah, flawlessly all oh, the cons okay the cons what do i have any cons here not necessarily it, the only con i have is where the filament you load in the filament it's kind of awkward it's behind the gantry and it's like you gotta load it from under, which is like so cramped over there. So I'm gonna be making a mod to put the filament on top. I think that would be so much better. It would be so much easier to load filament. If you look behind there, there's two screw holes right there. Who knows, right? Maybe they do have a top mount, but just don't, but just didn't do it or something. It has two screw right there. So I'm gonna be using those two screw in uh, upcoming videos. So stay tuned for that. And you know how to stay tuned by subscribing to this channel. Yeah, that's the con about this printer. And the other one is the, the power supply or the motherboard fan keeps running 24 seven. I hope there's a way we can turn that off when it's cooled down, like how on the KO Max. When it's cooled down, it just turns off everything, which is very nice. But this thing just runs 24 seven, but that doesn't really matter, right? It's a 3D printer, so it's just gonna run, you're gonna like, get a new, but it, yeah, it's a 3D printer, it's gonna run, it's gonna blow fan. But that is pretty much it for this Unboxing of the Ender 3B3, setting everything up, do a couple of test prints. I will fine tune this thing in the next couple of days and we'll do another fully review of like a week or so. And yeah, this has been my first impression of the Ender 3B3. It has been amazing, man. It's a Core XZ. No 3D printers out there are Core XZ. This is just like the first, I think. This is like the first Core XZ 3D printers from my, um, from my knowledge. But yeah, that's it with this video of me unboxing the Ender 3v3 oh and yeah i bought this myself quality did not send me this i wish they did but as always keep on 3d printing